Guys, I know you're cheating and using aimbot. Please stop. Or at least tell us how to make ourselves into a human aimbot. Hey guys, so I promise you that I will deliver an aiming tutorial video and here we go. Number one. I have seen countless replays and streamers who just have way too high sensitivity. This makes them miss much more shots simply because of the inaccuracy created by this. You can fix this by lowering your DPI and mouse sensitivity and the lower it is, the more accurate you will get. I am playing with 800 DPI and you can look at my sensitivity settings here. It's very important though, in case you're playing with a high sensitivity, to not lower your sensitivity by a drastic amount instantly. Instead, opt for a more gradual approach and just start lowering it bit by bit, all the way until you still feel comfortable. Number 2. By enabling server reticle, you will be able to track your opponents much better and fire exactly when your reticle is on their weak spots, simply because this option enables you to see server lag all the time, aka you won't be missing shots because of some momentarily connection lag between you and the server. This happens all the time with people that use clan reticle. For example, they turn a corner on Himmelsdorf and they already see that they can shoot the enemy on the corner, yet they are unaware that their reticle is still lagging behind the wall, thus missing a crucial potentially game-changing shot. Don't be like one of those guys. The rule of exception here is to disable Sir Reticle in case you're having more than 80 ping, because it is going to be very laggy, thus using Clan Reticle and calculating the lag in your head will do a better job. Number 3. A lot of you have been asking me, Kaizu, how do you aim so well and hit the enemy's tiny weak spots constantly? The answer is very simple and I'm going to show you how. Aiming for weak spots or cupolas in World of Tanks consists of three types of different aiming. When the enemy is stationary, aka doesn't move, you just have to find their weak spots that are most susceptible to damage. Try to fully aim until your reticle has completely shrank and just fire to hit it. If the enemy is moving their cupola and you don't really have a clear shot at the other weak spots, simply wait for them to drive into your crosshair and fire. For easier understanding and to describe better what I said, here's a clip of me shooting a wiggling E5 in the cupola. You can notice that he's putting his gun up and is presenting me with a hard target, since his gun can soak up my heat shells for no damage, plus I can also miss you to the constant motion of his wiggling. You can see I am aiming at one spot and waiting for him to move into my reticle, only firing once I am sure that he lets down his guard a bit and I will hit him. You can see that there should be no excuses for missing cupolas. The beauty of World of Tanks stems from the fact that there is no perfect angling of your weak spots, even though Ali is a really sick player and he knows his stuff quite well. In other words, when the enemy is moving at a closer range, you should try to hold your aim while slightly adjusting it to line up with their cupola and predict where their cupola is going to be after they move. You should fire when the cupolas line up exactly with your reticle. Muscle memory and reflexes are also going to help you tremendously after you have spent a lot of time playing with the new settings. This is sort of like driving a car. After some time you will get a feel of your own settings, a feel of how much you have to move your mouse for your reticle to move to the place you want it to move to. Muscle memory is a seriously underestimated thing in World of Tanks and can really impact your games in a ridiculous fashion, such as these shots. Number 4. A lot of different types of reticles can be used, but the best ones I found were a combination of the point and O shaped ones that you can usually see in my videos. I don't really recommend the crosshair shaped one or the V shaped ones either. Number 5. It's a good thing to understand and get a feel of how fast your shares are flying. You can find out the shell velocity by hovering over your tank's shell types in the garage or pressing the left control and hovering over your shells in game. Once you understand approximately how fast most shells fly while attaching their speed value to them in your head, you're going to get a much better sniping experience at fast moving targets at longer ranges. Number 6. Once you have lowered your sensitivity, it is important to make sure to have a large enough mouse pad. Since your hand is going to move more, you will need more space. Don't expect to have good results on a 3 by 3 inch mouse pad. Number 7. Another question I keep getting is the following. Kaizu, why is your aim so smooth and your tracking shot so accurate? Well, that's because I lowered my native resolution from 2560 by 1440 to 2300 by 1440. This change allows for increased mouse sensitivity on the horizontal plane. And since most aiming is done horizontally, this artificially gained additional speed and smoothness will make it much easier for you to do the aforementioned tracking movement that this game requires when it comes to aiming at enemy tanks. I thoroughly explained this trick in my settings video, I'm going to leave the link in the description for it. Number 8. 
I would highly suggest not using any higher absorber level than X16, simply because it makes you think that you are going to be more accurate since the reticle cannot shrink any further at higher zoom levels, but instead it is just going to make you tunnel vision on your opponents. When you're aimed at someone with X25 at close range, you can miss crucial information and lose precious reaction time, since you won't be aware when someone else next to you or your target tries to shoot you or does something that should warrant your attention. I am sure these changes are going to massively improve your gameplay and aiming experience if you keep yourself to the steps in the video. Thank you guys so much for more than 14,000 subs. Much love to all of you and thanks for tuning in. Oh by the way, if you reach 2,500 likes, I'm going to release a tutorial for map awareness. And remember,